we want to simplify each expression. An expression is not considered simplified if it contains negative exponents. Let's begin by reviewing the rules for negative exponents given here at the bottom. Let's write a to the power of negative m as a fraction by putting this over one. And let's write a to the power of m here as a fraction by putting this over one. Now if we take a close look at this, we have a to the power of negative m is equal to one over a to the power of positive m. So this is telling us that if this crosses the fraction bar, meaning moves to the denominator, it changes the sign of the exponent. Looking at the next rule, if we have one over a to the power of negative m, and we move this up to the numerator, it also changes the sign of the exponent. So to change the sign of an exponent, we simply move it across the fraction bar, either up or down. So looking at our first expression, we have four y to the power of negative three. The first thing to recognize here is this means four to the first times y to the power of negative three. So four has a positive exponent, y has a negative exponent. So let's write this in fraction form. So we'll have the denominator of one, and now to change the sign of the exponent on the y, we'll move y to the power of negative three down to the denominator, where it becomes y to the power of positive three. So this would be equal to four divided by y cubed, or y to the power of positive three. This is now considered simplified because we don't have a negative exponent. Looking at the next expression, notice how because of the parentheses, the base is now four y. So writing as a fraction, we'd have a denominator of one. To change the sign of the exponent, we'll move this down to the denominator. So this would be equal to one divided by, in parentheses, four y raised to the power of positive three. Remember, four y is four to the first times y to the first. So now we have powers to powers, so we multiply the exponents. So we have one divided by four to the third y to the third. Four to the third is equal to 64, so we have one divided by 64 y to the third. Now when simplifying fractions with negative exponents, there's a couple of ways of doing this. If we look inside the parentheses, n divided by t means n to the first divided by t to the first. So because we have powers raised to powers, again, we multiply the exponents. So we can write this as n to the power of negative three, since one times negative three is negative three, divided by t to the power of one times negative three or negative three. And now to change the sign of the exponents, we'd move n down to the denominator, and we move t up to the numerator which would give us t raised to the power of three divided by n raised to the power of three, which is now considered simplified because there are no negative exponents. I do want to show this again though and show this property here. So if we have n divided by t raised to the power of negative three, looking at our rule, a over b raised to the power of negative m is equal to b over a, the reciprocal, raise the power of positive m. So applying this rule, we can write this as the reciprocal of n over t would be t over n, raise the power of not negative three, but positive three. And because we have exponents of one here and here, we multiply the exponents and get the same result. t to the third divided by n to the third. So there are a couple ways of simplifying this, depending on which exponent rule you prefer. Personally, I prefer applying the power to power property as we did here. Looking at our last example, again, we'll show this two ways. We have four to the first divided by t to the first raised to the power of negative three. Powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. So we have four to the power of negative three divided by t to the power of negative three. To make the exponents positive, we'll move four to the negative three down to the denominator and t to the negative three up to the numerator, which will give us t to the third divided by four to the third, but we can simplify four to the third, that's equal to 64. So we have t to the third divided by 64. Using this property here, we know we're gonna get the same result. This is equal to the reciprocal of four over t, which would be t over four, raised to the power of positive three, here we have t to the first divided by four to the first, so we multiply the exponents and we get the same result. t to the third divided by four to the third, or t to the third divided by 64.
So again, you can use either method, the result is the same. I hope you found this helpful.